guys, so today me and Fiona here are going to a show. We're going to be jumping the 1m10 and the 1m20. Um, the show we're going to is Mullingar Equestrian. It's just uh, very, very close to us and it's a really nice place to jump. So yeah, hopefully it's good. It's only our second 120 ever. So hopefully it goes well. Last week she was clear. She was so, so good. Um, so hopefully that wasn't a fluke and we also go well today. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm just going to go and groom her now because she's pretty dirty ain't she? and she's also huge <laughs> is all groomed she's really excited because she can hear the chickens and I don't know why they're spooking her she's pretty used to them by now so here's the the golden girl I know she isn't the most beautifully put together horse you don't need to tell me plenty of people were telling me that in the last video but I think she's gorgeous and that's all that matters hey Fiona <laughs> good girl so I'm just going to put on her travelling boots and her tail bandage and then we're going to load her up soon. Good girl. So I have my saddle here ready to go in the truck and also my bridle. And um, this is the bit I'm using at the moment, the palum. <clears throat> also lots of people were giving out to me for using roundings. I just watched the World Equestrian Games yesterday and a whole lot of riders were using palums and the vast majority were using roundings and not two reins so... I think I'm gonna like go by top international show jumping advice rather than people on the internet. I also have the curb chain really loose and there's a gel thing on it. So it's actually not really putting a whole lot of pressure on her. It's not like I just have the chain um, really tight against her. There's, it's loose and there's gel. So like, guys, I'm, I'm always gonna do what's best for my horse. She's also going so well in it at the moment. So I just like, I couldn't justify changing a bit when she's going so well. So yeah, that's my explanation on why I'm using a palum. Uh, so yeah, my dad, I can just hear him get the lorry if you want, I can hear it too. And yeah, we're gonna load her up now. She can hear the lorry coming. She's like, what's this? What's going on? I'll give you a really quick tour of the lorry as well because it's a really small lorry and there's nothing really to tour you guys. So I can't really make a whole video on it. There it is through the trees. All the chickens are getting out of the way. Come on, chickens. This is it from the outside. And in here is where all my stuff is. This is the inside, so there's my bridle, head collar. There's a sink here that goes into a tub. And also my boots are in here. And there's some other bits and bobs. There's loads of numbers in there. My saddle is here. There's boots in there. And then there's the bed that I sleep in, which is very comfortable. I'm gonna run a picture of my mom. And here is the cab. And you can also sleep behind the seats, which is also quite comfortable. And yeah, uh, here's some rosettes. Here's my dad feeding the chickens and the duck. They love him. And here's where the horses go. It fits three horses and a half or we can put hay in the extra bit. So yeah, now we're gonna go and get Fiona over here. Oh, good girl, Fiona. She's a little bit too long for this lorry. <laughs> 
joys of having a monstrous horse. Now we are loaded and ready to go. I'm very excited. I was a little bit nervous this morning. I don't know why. Lately I've been a bit nervous about going to shows with Fiona. I think it's because we're jumping like 120, which is kind of big, whereas before I was jumping like a meter, which is like... Well, that sounds really dicky saying, oh, maybe it's really small. Like, obviously, it's all relative, but it was small for her because she's so big. So now I was a little bit nervous, but I'm not nervous anymore. So hopefully I'm not nervous when I'm jumping. So this is Fiona's first round. Excuse my voice, I'm currently sick. <laughs> this is the 110 and it was a quite good round. We only just had one down. Um, Coming to the second fence, I rode like a lunatic. I saw a very, very long stride. <laughs> oh my God, galloping for it. And then took a stride out of the distance. Um, She dumped that ox really, really nice though. But after that, it all settled down. <laughs> it was much better. This was also the only time I had to trot to change her leg. She did flying changes every other time, which if you saw my Instagram post, I've been very, very happy with. Um, She's finally gotten balanced and strong enough to start doing changes. That double was very good. Doubles are something that we um, struggle with sometimes just because she has such a big stride. But um, uh, she was very good. Uh, you see her doing little changes there again. And to this one is the one we knocked. I just completely missed blind. I try and put a bit extra leg on for a longer stride and she doesn't get the hint and tries to chip in one. Sometimes I feel like I need a bit of extra something when I ask her to go forward, like a spur, but I don't know, I'm just going to see how it goes until I definitely, definitely need it Um, because she is quite good and quite forward off my leg. Just the odd time I felt lately that I feel like I just need an extra gear or something. But yeah, she jumps the rest of the course very, very nicely. Very happy with her. Um, she likes a more of a kind of a forward rhythm in the warm up. I was a little bit backwards, and I didn't feel so good. So in the round, I tried to open her up a little bit more, and she jumped very well. This is the. That was the second last fence, and now we're just coming to the last fence, which which is another double. Where she also jumps very well. I'm really trying to sit back up off her. So to give her the best chance possible. And yeah, she was super really, really happy with her. Oh, good girl, Fiona. Does a silly, does a silly rider mistake cost this pole? But I have a good feeling for the 120. Yay, girl, Fiona. Thoughts? So this was the 120, unfortunately it didn't go quite as well as the 110. Um, she started off pretty well, she jumped the first fence quite nice. Uh, the next two fences were also a bit quite nice. We did have a little problem with her drifting a bit through the corners, so I'm going to definitely work on that at home. Um, so she jumps this. I felt like she was really fighting with me a lot more in this round than the 110, and I'm not really sure why, because nothing changed. Then she started feeling very, very dead. Um, here she was just didn't really jump. Like she knocked that pole. Then she was kind of fighting with me a bit to the double. Um, she just didn't really feel herself. She felt very tired, honestly. Um, uh, we've put onto a different feed now, so hopefully I'll give her a bit more energy, um, a bit more stamina. She felt very good in the first round, but then. In this round she just felt very heavy on my hand and at the base of the jump like it felt like I had nothing there no power underneath me um so it's just uh you know very different to last week where she felt very keen and careful here she really fought me which was just strange because she didn't fight me in the 110 at all I think she just wasn't feeling quite up to it she was a bit tired so um She's actually not going to be jumping for the next few weeks, so she'll get a little break and hopefully come back a little bit fresher. Um, but yeah, as I I know I've probably get a lot of um internet coaches now commenting on my video, but um when I want advice I'll pay someone for it, so you guys don't need to teach me. Um but I have to take the good parts, like you know, she was good through this double and she was good at the start, so 
um, you know, it's all a learning curve. Didn't do a very good job of schooling her this week, did you, lad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was sweaty before I got from the riding. Good girl. Up, you know, nah. Look at her. <gasps> Your friends over there. The boys want to. <laughs> the duck thinks he's a chicken, <laughs> but he's not as fast as them. <laughs> Maybe the duck will like it. It's raining on the chicken. Good girl, Fiona. No. Oh. Good feed for you. She's been hosed. She's not actually that sweaty. <laughs> you good girl. Hey guys, so we're home now. Do you hear that cockerel like crowing? It is the funniest noise because he's quite young. <laughs> anyway, um, we're back now. It was a slightly disappointing day. Um, I'm going to have done a voiceover on the round so you kind of know how they went. So. She was very good in the 110s, I need to think about that. The 120, she was just tired. Like, she was genuinely tired. Even when I went into back into the warm-up to trot her off, like, I couldn't get her into trot or canter, like, she, like, wouldn't go forward. She was just really, really tired, so... It's just, I did, I did do quite a bit yesterday on the flat, so probably shouldn't have. Um, I thought she was getting fitter, and she is getting fitter, but, you know, we're still not quite there yet. So we've also gotten a new feed for her, which is uh, much higher in energy. We were just using up the the last of the feed we used to have because Welbeck is obviously a very hot horse, so she doesn't get high energy feed, and that's the feed we had been using. So now, because it's for Fiona, because she's competing, it's a much higher energy feed, so hopefully that'll give her the extra little boost she needs. Um, I won't be show going to a show next weekend because I'm away. The following weekend, I'm not away, but my dad is, so unless I can find a way to get to a show or get someone to bring me, then probably won't be going then either and stuff like that. So I don't really have any shows for the next few weeks, but next time I can go, I will, and then hopefully we can improve on that. Um, it's really funny, like, it's just typical horses. Last week, when I jumped her during the week, she wasn't very good, but then at the show, she was brilliant. And then this week, when I jumped her during the week, she was so good, she felt unreal. And then at the show, she didn't feel so good. So I'm like, horses, man, you just, you gotta take the good days with the bad, that's for sure. Um, so I thought I'd just put this vlog up anyway, just so you can see that it isn't all perfect. Um, obviously, I, I'm not looking for, like, uh, advice or anything from anyone on the internet because if I want advice I will pay people for it I don't need it from people I don't know so I just thought I'd say that because the keyboard trainers have been on a roll lately on my videos <laughs> um, and as much as I appreciate the effort that you put into typing those really long comments they're sometimes quite hurtful <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't want it, so yeah, thank you. I'm gonna wait till she's finished her feed now and then put her out. That black chicken just flew from this post right here to that post. Like, chickens don't fly. I'm so proud of her. Look at you go, girl. Yes. These are all the chickens. We have too many. You're crazy. Oh, look at him. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I find them endlessly entertaining. Like I could literally watch them for hours. They're gas. <gasps> Look, she's getting, she's getting like berries from the tree. She's so clever. So clever. Oh, I love them. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? Feature her nail polish from knocking that red pole. Hmm. She literally does not care. <laughs> Hello. Oh, big sigh. Oh, all your friends, Fiona, they love you. Where are they? Goodbye. Oh, 
Well back, look how dirty you are. Oh my god, are you loving your free life? Just doing whatever you want. Hey, Dali. Bye, Fiona.